Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These were the ideals our founding fathers vowed to defend during the revolution. To protect freedom of the press. Freedom of religion. Freedom to be an individual. These Wait, just wait! As a rally, wait, what? You know what? Just quit! Gretchen, do we have some peer interaction issues to address? Um, no, Miss Crokey. Everything's fine. Good. Then why don't you read aloud to us for a while? <sighs> and so, with these issues in mind, the Founding Fathers convened in Philadelphia in 1780. Ow! Gretchen! I'm okay! Why don't you take a moment to center yourself? Mikey, would you please continue where Gretchen left off? Uh, Miss Grokey? Yes, Mikey? I can't find Owl in the book. It's quite a conundrum. I just don't know what to do. Jeffrey has been kicking me and pulling my hair and poking me with a pencil all week long. Maybe you should just try ignoring him. I have, you guys. I really have, but he just keeps doing it over and over. <sighs> if I don't figure out some way of stopping him pretty soon, his immature attacks are going to start affecting my academic performance. Her what? She's going to start doing bad in school. Oh. Look, don't worry about it, Gretch. As long as we're here, he wouldn't dare bug you. You sure? Positive. Ow! Let's crane the little weasel! <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? Drop the innocent act, Pally. We're on to your game. Yeah, why are you picking on Gretchen? Oh, man, I'm not doing nothing. Then I should get hit in the head with the kickball. How would I know? I was just innocently reading my social studies book. Do you always read upside down, Jeffrey? Ugh. I like to challenge myself. You're lying and you know it. All week long you've been bugging me and I want to know why. Why? Well, is it my face? Uh, my hair? Uh, is it because I'm smart? Yes, yes, it's all of those things. I like you, okay? What? I like you. There. I said it and I'm glad. I like you and I don't care who knows. Keep your voice down, will you? No, I won't. I'll shout it to the heavens. I'm in love with a girl named Gretchen Grumbler and I'm not going to rest until I win her heart. <laughs> You uh, didn't really mean that, did you, Jeffrey? What part of love don't you understand? I love you! <laughs> My life is ruined. Gretchen, where have you been all morning? You missed class. I can't go back there again. Not while he's in there. You're gonna have to face him sometime. Not if I keep a sharp lookout. Hello, Gretchen. Ah! That seat's saved. But I brought you chocolate pudding. Where'd you get that? They're not serving chocolate pudding today. I heard it was your favorite dessert, so I got up two hours early this morning to cook it for you. That creamy texture only comes from 90 minutes of continuous stirring, you know. Look. I don't want your chocolate pudding, and I don't want you sitting here. So please just go. Very well, my love. I leave you with an empty stomach, and me with an empty heart. Aw, uh, it just makes me sick to see love spurn. You gonna eat that? Well, he's gone. But what if he comes back? Hey, you told him off. It may have been hard on him, but you did the right thing. I'm sure he'll get the message and leave you alone. <laughs> Six. What do you think you're doing? Who told you to interfere? It's merely an act of chivalry. There's no need to thank me, sweet flower of my desire. Don't worry, I won't. And must you talk like that? I'm winning you over, aren't I? Admit it. You're charmed. Fuck. Ugh, love hurts. He is definitely not getting the message. He thinks that the more I ignore him, the more I like him. It's nothing but a twisted downward spiral that can only lead to tragedy. Why don't you challenge him to a duel? Yeah, have his seconds beat your seconds. No, I've got a better idea. And all we need is a megaphone and a high place. Okay, let her rip. Okay. Fellow students, may I have your attention, please? For all those who care, I don't like Jeffrey. He's the one who likes me. It's not... what needs me, I'll be in the janitor's closet till eighth grade. He's up to something, I just know it. Not necessarily. This is for you. See? Till a mail refused, return to sender. Well, well, Miss Grundler, what have we here? A once model student carrying on a torrid puppy love romance right under my nose? How oh, the mighty have fallen. But, Mr. I wasn't... I didn't just fall off the cabbage truck, Missy. We all know it takes two to tangle. I'm going to have to confiscate that note. Hmm, perhaps a little sharing is in order. You wouldn't. <coughs>
Dear Gretchen, your eyes are like two pools of root beer. Your nose is like a cherry tomato. And your lips are like pink bubble gum. <laughs> Not bad, eh? <laughs> oh, at least I'm safe right here. There's the one place he can't get to be. Gretchen, I know you're in there. Jeffrey, what are you doing in here? I'm not in there, my sweet. I'm in the boys' bathroom, just on the other side of the wall. Now you don't have to feel alone anymore, even in the girls' room, my delicate little lovebird. Ah! Gretchen has a boyfriend. Gretchen has a boyfriend. I do not have a boyfriend. Gretchen has a boyfriend. Gretchen has a boyfriend. I do not have a boyfriend. Am I to be tortured everywhere I go? Hey, Gretchen, where's Loverboy? Hey, Gretchen, how's Mr. Grundler? Hey, Gretchen. What's it like? Don't even think about it, Jeffrey! Quit touching my hair! Sorry, it's just so red and shiny. I couldn't resist. And your cream it smells terrific. That's it. I've ignored you. I'm taking a vow of silence against speaking to you starting now. So, Gretch, want to be my partner on the next school field trip? You don't have to answer. I'll take your silence as a yes. Okay. I'm breaking my vow of silence to tell you this one last thing, so listen and listen good. We are not a couple. Do you understand? We're not going to be field trip buddies. We're not sitting together at lunch, and we're not sharing a cubby in art class. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly clear. Good. It's clear now that you like me for sure. What? But I told you I didn't. Yes, but denial is the sincerest form of flattery. No, it's not. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Oh, and you're so smart, too. I am never going to leave your side. I'm going to be with you forever and ever and ever. No, no, not forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Gretchen. Do you take Jeffrey as your lawfully wedded husband to have and to hold, to honor and to cherish, for better or for worse, till death do you part? Death? No way, I do. No one, I don't, I don't. Too late, you're married. That'll be $85. Yeah! Now, just think, Gretchen, we'll have the rest of our lives together. 60, 70, maybe 80 years. Every day together, endlessly. Forever and ever and ever. Ah! Congratulations, it's a boy. But... Forever and ever, Mommy! No! Ah, what a great life, eh, Gretchen girl? 80 years and counting. Yeah, yeah, it's a great life. Must escape, must escape. Oh, sweet homes, give us a kiss, Pookie. Ah! Oh, 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 it was just a dream. That's it. Tomorrow morning, I'm putting an end to this once and for all. Anybody seen Gretchen? Maybe she took the bus. Jeffrey! I'm calling you out. Uh, what do you mean, Gretchen, my dear? All this time you've been poking me and bugging me and making a spectacle of yourself. Well, now it's payback time. You say you want to be together forever? Here you go. Do you and me now, together forever, side by side for all eternity. Come on. First there's math club, then spelling bee practice. That was the gift staggered for lunch today at Dubai Frog Dissection. No, no, please let me go. I'm too young to give up lunch. Please let me go. Ah, geez, what a baby. Here. For future reference, they always come with a spare. Okay, right, Sorry I had to be so rough on you, but I was just trying to make a point. Well, you sure did that. When you put that handcuff on my arm, my whole life passed before my eyes. Nine years, just like that. I guess I'm just not ready for a full-time commitment. That's what I've been trying to tell you for the past two weeks. I'm sorry, Gretchen. I was just trying to show you how much I liked you. Well, that was the wrong way to do it. Tuh, you're telling me I'll never do that again. You know, now that you've stopped acting like a jerky boy, you don't seem so bad anymore. In fact, I can see maybe spending a little time with you. Uh, that's really nice, Gretchen, but now that you stopped acting like a weird girl and started acting more like a friend, I, I just don't think I like you that way anymore. I'll see you around, okay? You know, Spinelli, boys are really weird. <sighs> I know what you mean. Can't live with them, can't grind them into chocolate. Well, actually, you could. 
So I have this experiment at home. And what you do is you start with a graduated beaver and a 